Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Brigitte from Paraprint and on this channel I give tips and inspiration for 3D printing fashion at home. Today I'll be explaining how you can make your own 3D printed colorful chain strap design and you can use this for decoration or you can actually use it functionally as a handle. comes from modular design and in the case of this back strap I saw this picture on Pinterest and the question is can that be 3d printed? Yes of course! Usually how I start off my models is by just making little examples out of paper and so these are the modules themselves and then you fold them into each other like that and I just made a couple to see what I like in style and in the end this was the second one I liked it so I measured everything and then I made that into Rhino if you want to get these files yourself they're available for download on 3d cults so please head over to the link you need a starting module which is this which is slightly different because it needs to be able to open up and attach and then you've got the mitt modules once they open up they look like this which happens throughout the whole process and then the last one is yet again a different type of module to click back into additionally to the 3d printed design you also need two of these clasps that you can get at any craft or hobby store you can depending on what you make also use these this is more for example if you want to create a belt you would actually use these two the technique I'm using here is well I dub it sublimation printing subli printing for short if you want to know more about this technique then please watch the other video that I'm linking here where I explain it in detail so starting with this piece, show your side on this side. If the 3D printer left any blobs of material anywhere, you can use a wire cutter to just neatly cut off any of the blobs. As you can see, I'm just attaching multiple different ones here. I went for 25, but you can literally do whatever number you want. So just print however many you need to get the length that you're looking for. And in the case that you have attached all of them and you think, oh, actually, this is a little bit too long, not a problem. You can just take it apart, take some of them out, replace anything that's broken. That is the beauty of modular design. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like to see more of these designs and more make at home projects, please like and subscribe and let me know if there's anything that you want me to do in the next video. See you later.